It shouldn't be you, but it is. It's all right. You could never hurt me. Hey guys, it's hard to imagine that it's actually been nearly a year and a half since the last installment to the MCU has come out. And yet, thanks to the global situation, we have been thoroughly robbed of our regularly scheduled dose of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Thankfully, the famine that we've been experiencing is finally coming to an end at December of this year with the first installment of Phase 4, WandaVision. WandaVision is a spin-off show and the first of the Disney Plus shows that will feature the characters Wanda Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch, and Vision. But what does this mean for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, especially since the last time we saw Vision, he was not looking so good? That's what we're going to talk about in this episode of Constant Review. So let's do a lightning fast catch up, the fastest catch up I've ever done on this channel and we're going to start now. Back in Avengers Age of Ultron, Vision was created by using the Mind Stones fused into a Vibranian body. They used multiple minds to create it including the minds of Tony Stark, Bruce Banner, Jarvis and the Mind Gem itself creating a complicated neural network that formed Vision. Vision was a powerful Avenger, probably the most powerful Avenger other than Scarlet Witch. However, in order to get the Mind Stone from Vision, Thanos in Infinity War had to come up to him and rip it out of the face. Though Shuri originally attempted to save Vision's life by disconnecting him from the Mind Gem so they could remove the Mind Gem without killing him, it appears that she failed and was unable to do it in time before Thanos was able to take it from him. And so Vision ended up dying, Thanos ended up getting the Mind Gem, and all the events of Avengers Endgame could take place. However, now it looks like Vision is going to hit the silver screen, or at least the uh, television screen, one more time as he appears as the co-lead to the upcoming Disney Plus show, WandaVision. And this of course leads us to a bunch of naturally occurring questions that we need to get resolved. So let's just dive straight into it. What are the top three questions that WandaVision needs to answer? And at question number one, holy hell, is Vision alive? The last time we saw Vision, he was absolutely not looking so good. In fact, we have established over and over again that Vision is absolutely dead. We see Wanda referring to this at the funeral for Tony Stark at the end of Endgame. And we also see Vision in a PowerPoint presentation of all the fallen Avengers in Spider-Man Far From Home. But for the premise of Wanda Vision to exist, it looks like Vision is going to be back. And what does that mean for him to be back? Let's jump back really quick to a scene from Infinity War just before Vision dies. Here we can see that Shuri has put a lot of effort into getting as much of Vision's Matrix extrapolated from the Mind Gem as possible. But it still looks that Vision was connected to the Mind Gem and at the time that Thanos got to him he would have still been there and died. But Vision is an AI, and there might be a conceivable way that before Vision died, Shuri was able to create a digital backup of him on the Wakanda network. But do we know this for certain? It's hard to say, and right now I don't want to jump to too many conclusions as to Vision's vital status. But that takes us directly to question number two that I have on the series. What the hell is going on? Apparently hell is going to be in a lot of my questions. I hope you guys are okay with that. WandaVision appears to be a spoof television show, and that's the nature of the show that we can see in the trailers that Disney Plus has released. The show seems to follow some sort of loose format that mimics a lot of old-fashioned television shows. In fact, we can kind of see WandaVision imitating classic TV shows from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, even bringing back classic TV characters like the actress who plays Kitty Foreman from that 70s show. In fact, it really looks like in this version of reality, Wanda has a massive amount of control. 
she does something to change Vision's appearance to make him look human again, as the Paul Bettany she probably enjoys a lot more. But more importantly, she seems to have a lot of control over this universe. And how are they in a TV show? This got me to look for a rational, in-universe explanation to how this could possibly happen. How is it possible for Vision and Wanda to be in what appears to be a TV show, even in their own universe? In fact, at certain points in time, other characters in the trailer seem to be calling them out on it. Am I dead? No. Why would you think that? Because you are. And pointing out that they're in some sort of fabricated alternate reality. And I believe that that is exactly what is happening. Scarlet Witch, whose powers we know to be extremely strong, have somehow managed to create some sort of alternate reality in which Vision is alive and the two of them are playing characters in a TV show that exhibit very familiar TV tropes and stereotypes, idealizing the perfect relationship and the couple going through quintessential sitcom TV relationship problems. Does that mean that Vision is actually in this TV show with her as it seems in certain parts? Or is this just a massive coping mechanism that Scarlet Witch has created in order to deal with Vision's loss? Has Wanda Maximoff actually gone off the rails and is creating a massive alternate reality in order to deal with the loss of her former boyfriend? I guess that's something that we're going to have to see. And that brings me to my last question that I'm dying to ask about the WandaVision series, which is, are we going to see Wanda Maximoff or Vision again in the rest of the MCU? Avengers Endgame became the end for a lot of iconic Marvel characters. This became the swan song of Tony Stark and Captain Rogers, as well as Natasha Romanoff, a character that we have known and loved since Iron Man 2. Now, to be fair, we will be seeing Black Widow again in the standalone Black Widow movie, if that ever comes out. I mean, it's been pushed back again, guys. It's been pushed back. Again. But, if that movie ever comes out, we will see her again. But this is more of an homage to her previous occurrence, as we found out a long time ago that this is not going to be a sequel or a present-day movie featuring Black Widow, but instead is going to occur during the two-year span between Civil War and Infinity War, and therefore go back to a time period where Black Widow was still alive. But getting back to Scarlet Witch, is she going to appear in the MCU again? And the answer is hard to figure out. It seems that this may end up being close to the end of Scarlet Witch's character. After all, she was introduced back in Age of Ultron, and has had a fairly strong character arc since then. However, what we do know for a fact is that Elizabeth Olsen, aka Scarlet Witch's actress, has been slated to appear in Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness. This ensures that we're at least going to see her character one more time, but inevitably brings up one question. Why just her? In fact, it appears that though her name is slated to appear in Multiverse of Madness, Vision's name is oddly absent. And guys, that brings us to my final thoughts, which is what do I think is going to happen in WandaVision? And I think I mentioned it before, but I think that we've already been able to guess exactly what's happening in this fictional TV show that's a real TV show that's a spinoff of a movie series. Is that right? That's right. WandaVision is going to be the story of Wanda Maximoff getting over the loss of her former boyfriend, Vision. In this theory, she's going to create a fictional reality in which Vision never died and they can live off their life in domestic bliss. However, her own subconscious, in the form of Vision's manifestation, is going to fight the reality, knowing that she cannot live in this fictional reality forever and she is going to have to move on. So we're going to see a series that is Wanda fighting against herself in this Truman Show situation in order to finally confront and accept Vision's death in order to be able to move on as a character. But who knows, maybe Paul Bettany is still going to be around, and as a huge fan of Paul Bettany, I can never fault that. In fact, thank God that we're having a little bit more of him before the universe is over. So all I know for sure is that I'm excited to get our next dose of the MCU, and it has been 
far, far too long and it can't get here soon enough. Anyways, those are my thoughts for the upcoming series on Disney+. Plus. Let me know what your predictions for the series is going to be, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye!